I love my mother and I think she loved me. I just don't think everybody that's a parent loves being a parent. I don't think she loves being a mom. What I mean by that is you might want the rewards of the duties and of the title, but not necessarily to have to carry out all those duties and the lifestyle of her boyfriends and the people she surrounded herself with probably shouldn't have been around kids. Regardless, she did the best she could. At five years old, I was a witness to gun violence. She was shot. Her boyfriend was murdered in front of me and his son. Mm. We would eventually be in a federal witness protection program while that trial resolved. My mom perjured herself on the stand because she was trying to protect the person that shot her, which happens to be a family member who was also in the streets. Our family was pressuring her to you know, lie, to protect him. I think a lot of families have that code. We protect each other no matter what. And she did that. After we got out of federal witness protection program, we had spent time in a federal prison for women with children because now she had to deal with a perjury charge. I'm five, six, seven, eight. I probably had about 21 residents before I was 18 to go to college and had encountered law enforcement over a hundred times. None in which were my fault. A few times I called myself. I used to use the phone where you dialed the zero. And I will just never forget. And it wasn't even my mom's situation. It was my grandmother. So I came from a family of domestic violence. You learn that domestic violence isn't just spouse on spouse. It's not just boyfriend, girlfriend. My grandmother used to get hit by her brothers and the men in our family would hit the women because they just thought it was okay. There was times where I was a child and I would hide and go call the police because I was scared. I didn't want anything to happen to the women in my life. And of course that's scary for any child. With that being said, my upbringing was incredibly tumultuous and I went for a long time thinking that that was normal. Like I just thought that's how it's supposed to be. Probably until I got into maybe my high school years where I started recognizing like my friends don't go through this kind of stuff.